guys welcome back to our youtube channel it's your girl Lua Kemi Adesola and if you're new here please click on that subscribe button you're definitely going to love it here and if you're a returning subscriber you already know that I got mad mad love for you and thank you for coming back so today um it's gonna be a story time and I try to do this while doing my makeup but it didn't work out <laughs> so I thought to finish my makeup you know just sip a bit of wine and sit down and just you guys about this very horrible thing that happened to me a while back I just um, someone reminded me lately and I thought to share it with you guys so um, I'll be right back Hmm. <laughs> If you're under the age of 18 or 21 that's water okay <laughs> it's not what you think so this happened a while back so I was seeing somebody and you know I wanted to go visit and it was kind of 11 p.m. ish right here in Bangalore so you know cabs work here 24 7 there's no limit or coffee or whatever then it wasn't exactly it was a corona period so there wasn't coffee or anything so cap work 24 7 so on this faithful day i know i just dressed up i was wearing uh a mini gown and a very big jacket on top of it so you know i just packed a few things in my bag i booked a cab you know i was having that feeling of what oh, tonight is gonna be a good night so i booked this cab and uh, where i was going is about 10 kilometers from my house so um hold on <laughs> So I booked this cab and the cab comes to pick me up, you know, I was talking with the Uber driver and we're just just, you know, asking me, oh, because they have this habit of always asking you where you're from, do you know, do you know Gambia, do you know Zimbabwe, you know, they just think these African countries are just like mini streets beside each other. So we kind of engage in a conversation then about five kilometers into this journey, this cab breaks down Whew. and i was like wait this is almost 12 midnight now don't give me that what are you looking for by that time of the day don't give me that ah you know it's india and it's kind of safe here yeah, i've been living here like five six years and i've never had any kind of problem like this so you know i um I was so confused. I don't know what to do at that point because that means I have to book another cab that will take me to where I was uh, going. And I just kind of started feeling some kind of way like, what exactly is going on? What was I going to do? So the Uber driver was like, because we already got friendly, chatty, and all that. So it was like, he was going to let me stay in the cab till I can get another cab that will take me to wherever I was going. So I started booking. I started trying to book up, I started trying to book over, started, started trying to book all up. None of this was going through. I couldn't get any cab. At that point, I was like, okay, can I get a cab to go back home? Like, at least if I can go where, where I am supposed to, I should be able to go back to my house, right? So I just started booking cab again to my house. I didn't get any cab, you know? I'd get a cab and it'd be like, it's 13 minutes away, then I'll monitor it, it's coming, it's coming, 12 minutes, 11 minutes, nine minutes, eight minutes, seven minutes, and the next thing, these cabs will cancel. So at that point, I got so confused. And while I was doing that, this man was trying to fix his car and he was like, you just need to push it to a nearest petrol pump and he'll come back the next day with a mechanic to fix it. I was like, okay, this is it, what am I gonna do? So while we were doing that, um, I think one of the Uber drivers parked by the roadside just uh, came and was like, what's going on? So the man explained to him, so he offered to, take me to my destination for half the price the original uber charged to me so i was like okay that's fair enough let's go no problem so i just asked the driver if it was going to be okay he said it would be fine and no problem so it just i just thanked him and you know i got into that uh the other cab now mind you this other cab i did not book it which means i do not have the details i do not have the plate number 
I do not have the driver's name or whatever it looks like, but I could see his face kind of, it was very dark, but I could kind of figure out what it looks like. Is this man, it should be around this. Early 50s or like late 40s, he wasn't a young person at all. You know, he had lots of gray hairs mixed with black ones and he had crooked teeth. I could figure that out and his English was... Mm, okay okay so it was like i should just come in it will take up the price and as long as i have the location we could use the map on my own phone you know i felt it was a kind person like to come to my help like that because it was like oh it wouldn't make sense for me to like stand by the roadside and keep on waiting for another uber that i booked so you know we were going now we're about two kilometers away from where i was going so now I didn't go back home, I continued my journey, you know. <laughs> so I continued my journey and about two kilometers away from where I was going, uh, this man, he, he leaned backwards, like I was sitting at the back, he was at the front driving of course, and you know, he just did that thing like, he looked backwards with his hand and you know I was wearing a short gown and a very big jacket on top of it so I felt something touch my legs and I was like uh wait is that something in this car because I didn't want to believe that it was the driver touching my legs and when I figured it out I was like yo what's up what's going on then this man started aggressively touching my leg like and he was smiling and I was pinching his hands like why are you touching me then it was like um, okay let's do it this way I don't need to pay for the cab that I should just let him touch me that we could quickly do it at the back seat blah 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 that then I won't have to pay for the cab you know at that moment I wanted to go crazy because first off I was like one and a half kilometers away from where I was going it was pretty dark there were no cars passing because it was late already so everyone was kind of silent already and Indians they don't really do street lights almost all the street lights are bad I was crying because well I'm a crybaby but that situation at that moment I didn't know what to do because I was like this man can pack his car and rough and do me and and see his mouth I have I cannot fight that journey and you know I was wearing this very short dress and just a big jacket on top of it and you know I just have my phone my hairpiece and a small bag a small crossbody bag okay I was like yes this is it oh my fine girl Oh my pretty lady or some baby that's it it's finished it's that, that that's the end like I was going to die that was how I felt at that moment I was like I wish something could just make me disappear from this car and to my house like I wish I could turn back the hands of time and I just and I didn't even decide to go anyway you know in my head so many things were playing like hey if i had stayed in my house this would not have happened though but look at me i'm going to boy's house i was like god if i ever get through this i'm never going to visit any boy again ever this is it you know mom i love you dad i love you because i'd rather die than let this man do anything to me i was just ready to just give it all up at that moment because at this point it was already slowing down it was already slowing down the vehicle and i'm like wait what is i was crying and i was shouting like why are you touching me what is this and it was like oh that everybody does it that my friends do it that he will just quickly do whatever i want to do at the back and i um it's no big deal that then i won't have to pay him and i'm like how much is the cab like first of all how much is this cab fare that you're telling me you want to sleep with me quickly at the you know it was so ridiculous at this point i was crying but i just kept on pinching his hand giving him blows like you know stopping him from touching me so i called the person i was going to meet like please just stay on this call with me this man is trying to do this you know so immediately the man noticed that i was on a call he focused on his driving and he was like oh why am i taking it as a big deal his english wasn't good but you know i'm just I got what he was saying so i'm just trying to explain to you guys in clear terms and you know i've been hearing gists that do these car driver do these auto drivers do this i've never actually experienced any of it so now it was like i was living people's story like gist that i've heard 
I was like, yes, this is it. This night is the night I'm going to die because I'm not going to let no man touch me without my consent. I was just ready to do whatever. So I called uh, the person I was going to meet. Okay, please stay on this call. This is going on. And I was like, why are you crying? What's going on? Where are you? Tell him to stop. And I couldn't walk one kilometer alone in that dark. This man could come after me and do whatever. I don't know my exact location. So I had to send my life location to the person I was going to meet. Like, but please stay on this call with me. Just talk to me. So before I got there, you know, everybody, uh, he already came down from the house and was ready to throw hands with the Uber driver. I just got there. I just paid this man. I just ran down from the car. And you know, this man was still like, oh, but I'm a big girl. Why am I acting like this? I don't know that I'm not a big girl. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Bro, like this is not funny. I'm just trying to laugh because relieving this for me is a very, very painful thing. Anyway, so, um... I ran down from the car and you know my my guy was already coming down the stairs he was so ready to fight and he was like oh I should send him the cab details uh, what's going on so he went to meet the driver like what's that why are you touching her why would you be telling her you should do this at the back seat blah 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 and to my greatest surprise like this came as a shock to me this man this Uber driver it's like, let me not call him an Uber driver this driver now said I was the one that told him that I was single so in my head I'm like when did we have that conversation like did I even talk to you I did not even talk to you so where is this I was single coming from and second of all if I was single did I ask you to touch me I never gave you my consent I never asked you to touch me so when did all of these conversations when the day Happened. When did it happen? I don't know what because I was crying at this point. Then my guy just started like Hitting him like don't ever touch her again Even if she told you she was single you have no right to touch her and you know He was fighting him like taking the Picture of at that point, you know, it was night time already and people were coming out our Indians Indians are like that once they hear people having an altercation or something Everybody's coming out and you know, they're trying to try to make videos and all of that. I didn't want to be anybody's um gossip i don't want anybody to gossip about that or whenever i'm coming there and people are looking at me in some kind of weird way so i was just like please let's just go inside let me let's just go i, I don't even want to see this man's face let's just go inside and he was just taking pictures of the of the car's plate number the type of car that it was and all of that and it was like we're going to report to uber we were going to report to uber and all that and i was like i didn't even book this car the one i booked broke down and i just followed this one and i was like why would you do that why are you being so careless you can see the time guys that was just it and for like the next one week if something mistakenly touches me it's like i'm reliving that moment all over a Gain. and after that i thought so just because i'm a woman was why i had to go through that because if it was a guy he wouldn't touch a guy like that except if he was gay or bisexual but because i was a woman i was alone that doesn't give him the right to touch me or to talk to me like that or say such things about to me that we should do something at the back seat this or that i felt so dirty i felt like a footmat i've never felt that dirty my entire life uh anyways i'm over it now uh something just made me talk about it with a friend recently and i thought to share with you my sweet loves <laughs> so um, i'm fine now thank you and um if you're living in india or anywhere in the world and you have ever experienced something like this please share with us in the comment section please share with us in the comment section i remember to give this video a thumbs up share this video with all of your friends and your enemies as well i'll take that um i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for listening to my story i pray this never happens to any of you guys i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye